Let's have a closer look at the new 2022 Formula 1 regulations. The FIA completely rewrote the technical regulations and also changed the way how to read the rules. I will now explain to you what exactly the differences are. As designer and engineer I've been working with lots of different set of rules in different motorsport categories. As designer in F1 I also worked with the Formula 1 regulations of the past years. Technical regulations are always historically grown, since they are constantly updated. Pretty often the result is a bit messy and regulators sometimes overlook something, which then creates loopholes or T-wings. That was no difference with the previous Formula 1 rules. Articles that described a certain part of the car got longer and more specific every year. To still understand the rules, the regulators added pictures somewhere in the middle to describe certain regulations better. So for example, if I wanted to know something about the rear wing, I read the article about the rear wing, and it told me all the dimensions I needed. Then, additionally I could see a picture showing me these dimensions on a car. The 2022 F1 regulations are different. Now, the regulations define reference surfaces and reference volumes at the back. And all rules about particular parts then always refer back to these reference volumes. They then, for example, say rear wing profiles must lie within reference volume rear wing profiles. And there are no pictures now. Additionally, all these surfaces and volumes are designed with lines and arcs with constant radius. So that leaves no room for interpretation and is very clear. Also, the way how the new regulations are written is very efficient. There is no unnecessary information and they always just give you the minimum input to design the shapes. For example, a cuboid is described like this. They only give you the two points of the internal diagonal and you work out the rest. To be honest, from a designer's point of view, I like it. Because the rules look a lot tidier than before. You design all reference volumes first and then you see everything you need on your screen. But the problem is that if you are not a cut designer and you cannot design these shapes yourself, it's really hard to understand the rules, because you don't see what they refer to. And that is the big problem at the moment for fans and journalists. Fans listen to journalists explaining the rules, but journalists now need help from designers and designers usually don't work for magazines. And that's why, on my channel, I'm designing reference volumes and surfaces to explain the new F1 rules for everybody, so that we can all understand the new 2022 cars better and we can actually see what they are referring to. From the regulator's point of view, it's a good idea to tidy up the rules, but the FIA was also very experienced with the previous set of regulations. A big change in how the regulations are written also offers the potential for errors. The FIA has no experience with the new rules and that would make it very interesting for fans. Let's see which team finds the first loophole. If you are interested in aerodynamics and design in F1 and want to learn more than on my YouTube channel, check out my 5 star rated online course in the description below. There, I will give you an in-depth insight into how to design complex aerodynamic parts in an efficient and parametric way. I will also tell you what the difference between aero designer and aerodynamicist in F1 is and let you know how to get a job in Formula 1. Also, check out the platform motorsportengineer.net for more high quality online courses held by motorsport professionals. So I hope you liked this little insight into the 2022 F1 regulations and see you at the next video.